What happens is, if you go like that, okay? Oh, oh my God! The United States of America Week 5 Sunday has concluded, and there's a lot of things to talk about. Teams that have stunk. There's a paper towel there from A.J. Hawk, who also broke the leather of my chair because he rammed it under the desk, tearing the leather, but he did a great job hosting on Friday. So can't wait to ask him why he's got to be a barbarian fuck mm -hmm. and do that to my brand new chair. What happened with the nope. chair? Why'd you break my leather under this thing? Show me what's broken. Show me what's broke. Right there, pal. It's ripped at the seam. Oh, I didn't do that. You did. You shoved it. No, when I got here, this thing close. was shoved. I'll bring my own chair. I'll Thank you. It's a brand new fucking chair. It's ripped at the I goddamn scene. Why are you blaming me? You told me there's guys there every night, like Vig and, and what's his name? Are there oh, like, fixing all the technical stuff? I didn't even see this from the the initial jam. You gotta think, is oh, yeah, that's definitely not for me. Brand new chair, this thing. $45,000 this chair cost. <laughs> I, I think you got ripped off. You don't say. <laughs> but in the current setting, your team fucking stinks. Whoa. Your team stinks. Yep. Your team stinks. Yep. My team stinks. Foxy's team always stunk. Yep, yep. Zito's team fucking stinks. Nick's yeah. team is Diggs' team. Stink. They stink. Mm -hmm. This is a wild time to be a part of the show because just one year ago, it was, ha <laughs> Hey. Hey. Oh, King's Look at that cast. 20 to 17. Raiders still holding the lead. Patrick Mahomes trips, falls. Then he gets slumped down to the ground. Uh -huh. No call. Second and goal. One once again, this is what happened <laughs> in Tampa Bay just yesterday or two days ago with Jerome Boger calling a roughing the passer in which Grady Jarrett grabs Tom Brady and huh, slings him down. Mm. Go back to the Patrick Mahomes play. After seeing Grady Jarrett, he gets the snap on first and goal, stumbles, falls. All of a sudden, he's grabbed by Perriman, slung down. Don't know what the difference is. None of us know what the fuck a roughing the passer is. Let's figure that out sometime soon because it's ruining games. And we're not saying that Mahomes should be a roughing the passer. We're just saying, can we get some fucking consistency here? Just what yeah. is what is roughing yeah. the passer? Will somebody tell us we would like to know? Because you got it, you don't. It's a fumble. It isn't. It's this. It's that. We would like to know a fucking answer. Let's also get it reviewable. I think I saw Drew Brees post like, hey, can we not just review mm -hmm. these? Because then we can kind of make more sense of it. We agree. Review them and also tell these refs with the subjective power to relax. And this is football. 17-7, one minute and 14 seconds left in the half. Derek Carr, third and eight, gets sacked, uh, fumbled, uh, ball. recovery. Jones is about to make this thing a three-point game. But instead, this was called a roughing the passer. So I thought how he braced himself. I thought he did a good job saying how his left arm tried to brace and not land all yeah. of his body weight on him as he's stripping the ball. And I think he Next knew level. too, though, like, I can't land my body on this dude. I'm a big dude. It mm -hmm. looks worse than it would be if someone else landed on him. So, like, he tries to brace himself and go score. What an unbelievable play and another terrible call. What is the right answer then? What is Chris supposed to do? Don't hit him. Don't even, hey, just quit yeah, on the play. Seriously. I don't know. Where do you stand on the whole roughing the passer maybe being a reviewable penalty situation? Yeah, look, they tried to do that with pass interference a couple years ago it's tough because it's big subjective nature to that call i don't know how much you can see objectivity in a slow motion replay it is tough to play defense you know the strike zones for tacklers has totally changed you can't hit guys over the middle like you used to and then policing the quarterback position is the number one thing and there's been multiple hits that have changed the course the direction of roughing the passer we've been on the wrong side of a few of those calls over the years kind of looks similar to the play last night. I personally am not begging for those calls. I don't know what else Chris Jones can do on that play. That would not be a call I'd be begging to hit. The things that I think are most important is the shots to the head. That's the most important thing. And the unnecessary roughness ones where a guy doesn't have to pick you up and throw you down. It's tough with the lower leg ones too because a lot of times those guys are already on the ground or going to the ground. The intent of the rule is protection of quarterback and it's a quarterback driven league. But the enforcement is very difficult for all referees. I, I know uh, both those referees, I mean, we've had them, both Jerome and, and Carl. They're both great refs. And I think they both felt like they made the right call. It's heat of the moment. It's bang, bang. It's quick. Those are difficult calls for sure. But it's more difficult in defense because I don't know if I'm coaching defensive line and I'm sitting in with Chris Jones in a, in a meeting on Wednesday. What am I telling him? I don't think being able to review these calls uh, make anything better. If you remember back in, in the playoffs where Brown 
Rams had that, that controversial pass interference call on the Saints, and they never called it, and then the Rams end up going to the Super Bowl, and they put in all pass interferences are reviewed. Out of all the pass interference calls, they only overturned about two or three of them. I think it's a slippery slope. I think we should just continue to play the season out and see where it goes. But what I do to combat that is I'm always going for the ball. If I get a free shot at the quarterback, I'm always going for the ball. The ball is the most important thing. I want to get the ball out. I want to get a sack, force fumble, fumble recovery, and I want to run it back for a touchdown. And that's just my mentality whenever I'm coming around. I'm not I'm not in there to knock anybody out or do anything like that. I feel like when I go for the ball, it just takes me into the tackle. I'm always swiping at the ball. And if I can't get it, then I just fall on the guy. And Chris wow. Jones could probably argue that. Breaking news from the Ian Rappaport's account this morning. Matt Rule has been fired as the Carolina Panthers head coach. They have stunk. Yesterday they played against the Niners. You're going to stink against the Niners regardless. But if you continue to stink in a stinking fashion with a quarterback that you traded for and he stinks, you're probably going to get fired. Phil Snow, defensive coordinator for the Carolina wow. Panthers, also fired. Phil Snow and Matt Rule have been together everywhere. I believe what had happened was Matt Rule was fired this morning. So they bring in Phil Snow and they go, Hey, Phil, how do we fix this thing? He goes, fix this thing? I'm with fucking Matt Rule. What are you mm -hmm. talking about? Nate? You're fired. AJ was not able to hear a single word to Cal Van Noy said that entire interview. So at the very end of it, while Cal Van Noy is giving his last answer to Connor, I texted AJ to ask a question about which refs, you know, going into games do you know about? <laughs> Oh, that would have been good. Damn yeah, it. because we would have obviously gone, AJ hey, just has that. Oh, wake AJ. up. But AJ could hear what Connor asked. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. whenever I pointed at AJ, right, after I sent the text while Kyle's full screen, send a text to AJ, I pointed AJ for him to go next, and AJ goes, no. <laughs> I start dying laughing because you knew I was trying to fucking say, yeah, I respect that. Hey, that's big brain stuff by you over there, AJ, in the middle of some chaos. I tell you what, though, I didn't want to derail it, so trying to, like, nod my head and laugh when I saw it, things were supposed to be <laughs> <laughs> I was acting that whole time. I was trying. Oh, mm, oh, interesting. I, I can hear you guys beautifully, just not him. Well, you were laughing if we would laugh. Yeah. Because you, yeah, I don't want to laugh like if he was saying something really terrible too. Like I tried to gauge off of you guys. Ron Rivera gave an interesting answer to a question just yesterday in his press conference. Why do you think the teams in the division are farther ahead at this point? Quarterback. The truth is that this is a quarterback-driven league. And if you look at the teams that have been able to sustain success, they've been able to build it around a specific quarterback. Chose the quarterback here, though, so do you have any regrets about that, or how do you? No, I got no regrets about that quarterback. I think our quarterback has done some good things. There's been a couple of games that he struggled. I mean, I'm kind of with Alex Smith here, and Alex Smith had a little rant talking about how he drove the bus over Carson Wentz, it sounds like. He backed it up over him. Yeah, I'm a firm believer that the head coach cannot bury the quarterback. I'm a firm believer no. that the GM can't bury the quarterback. Can't bury anybody publicly. You can handle that behind closed doors. I hope there's no kids or children watching this. Everybody keeps wanting to say, I don't want anything to do with Carson well, bullshit. I'm the fucking guy Whoa. that pulled out the sheet yeah. of paper, that looked at the analytics, that watched the tape in the freaking when we were in Indianapolis. And that's what pisses me off. Because the young man doesn't deserve to have that all the time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, he didn't. Look at this cop, though. Look at him. He still feels He could probably still play. See ya. So you're saying because of that clip, he's acting like, hey, you guys brought this on to us. I didn't do this. Yeah. Ron, we remember what happened this week when you said but quarterback. He did kind of start it all. You're right. He could have said something other kind of. than just yeah, one did. word quarterback when they said, what's the problem here? He could have just went the Belichick round and been like, we're not talking about that. What happens? I don't understand. Right. I, don't, I don't get Pat, it. There's more bad news. Oh. We're not live right now. Jabba's dead right now. No. See. Jabba can see. But he oh, cannot see. move. Oh, jeez. Oh, paralyzed. so he's like. He's paralyzed. He's not Jesus dead. Jesus yeah. Christ. Job is staring me down right now. Oh! oh shit! Build him back to life. Guess who's Bach? Bach, Bach again. Jabba's Bach. Bach. Anyways, Darius J. Butler is here. Hey, but. And he's off again. Oh, my God. And he's out is of he? Are we sure Not that on. some of the packages... I, I can hear you speak. You are, you're like, your, your mouth is making sounds. <laughs> Dan Snyder has found himself in quite an interesting predicament. And he says, I'm the one in an interesting predicament? Uh, hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> All the other owners are in an interesting predicament. Turns out he allegedly is has blackmail on every owner, which would make sense after everything that has happened in the past where we kept asking, are these owners going to force this guy out? Just yesterday, I believe our conversation around Dan Snyder not being an owner anymore came back to... He's got to have photos of all these yep, yep. And then literally this morning, a report from ESPN that that is literally Dan Snyder's ace in the hole. He has allegedly blackmail on every owner. He thinks he's going to be able to take everybody down. He thinks he's untouchable because of that. That is coming from ESPN, actual report, former senior executive at the commander saying something, mm. and NFL owner uh -huh. allegedly saying something anonymously. That speckled belly goose is fucking the most delicious <laughs> duck. Well, I guess it's not a duck, it's a goose. Not all squares are rectangles. So not all ducks are gooses. All rectangles are squares. 
square. But all no gooses or ducks. I disagree with stretching and all that. I think you should go from your car to the first play and be fine. <laughs> As I get older now, I do like stretching. stretching. I'm I, big into stretching now. I disagree with stretching. Me too, by the way. No, I've I'm never said like it that have... way. I disagree with stretching <laughs> yeah. too, though, it sounds like. You don't need 30 minutes. You don't need 30 minutes from when you show up to sit there in a circle with your buds and stretch. So when are we going to watch that? What is it? What is the show? Um, It is Max. Jude? It is. <laughs> Please. Max is homesick from school. Right. Oh, Jude. Oh, Godspeed. Yeah. Sound very sick. NFL players will be the only great thing you'll be able to watch on TV. I cannot uh, say okay. any more, but perhaps I'll be on them. Max, what's the name of the show he was on? Max. Yeah. Say it, Max. 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 What say was it, name Max. Of the Takedown. Can you? Okay. Oh, just... <laughs> Thank you, Max. That was awesome. What is it, something? Takedown? Tailgate Takedown. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Max. Thank you, Max. Thank you. Can't wait to watch that. Connor, your question. We're going to have a major conversation after this. You didn't send him away for six months in summer. He would have done that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Connor, your question for uh, possession, nine yeah. tenths of the law. They were the ones that were in possession of the half cheeks. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It was on their continent, AJ. Hmm. Well, Does it matter that you don't know exactly what's going on in the front? We do know it's a hip flexor. What do you what do you think? Yeah, what do you think? I'm going? saying that, but like if does that make it like an explicit thing? We're at 18, it's gotta be maybe Use your 21. Imagination. What? The guy getting icy hot on his leg so he can be explosive in a fucking football game in Tottenham Stadium? What are you getting at? Jeez. Well, I mean AJ's acting like the guy's getting his twig and giggleberries, you know, tugged on, <laughs> on the sideline. Like grow up. You know? <laughs> Jesus. How old Christ. are we? Jesus. It's ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> you couldn't wait. You could not wait. <laughs> You're the quarterback oh. now. I'm Chris Jones. He came perfect right here, right? Bam. Bam. Okay. And now, and now, he's got the ball. <laughs> land up, land okay? up. Okay. So, so what happens is if you go <laughs> like that, okay? Oh, my God. There you go. Key back. That's, that's body weight. So you got to have the ball no, in your hand, and, okay? Yeah. And then you got to you got to brace, <laughs> drag it off, okay? And roll off. No, I okay? got I you, I you, Don't kick him in the ding <laughs> Hey, how about a hand for Rob? Hey, yeah, Rob. Yeah, Rob, Rob, Rob. Chris Pawnee is holding that white bird. Does he have an orange T-shirt on? <laughs> hey, what's the name of the uh, cockatoo in the uh, eclectic? That's Bob the cockatoo. Oh, okay. Hey, watch out. Peter might come for me. He keeps flipping that guy all yeah. around. What's your name, sir? Uh, you, in the pink. Party boy. I don't have a name. That's Spanky. 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 Why are your feet on these things again? Because <laughs> we're both 5'5", five five and we can't. Our feet don't so touch can you the zoom, They can't really see because you guys have these professional foot resters now. Well, is it because your seats are too high? No, it's because we're too short. So your your little feet won't touch the ground? Yeah, don't call them little. We get it. <laughs> are the buildos a situation? Are they still going on? Or do they, did COVID cut those things out? Are they still throwing them on the field? <laughs> I actually wish I would have saw them throw it on the field. I would have tried to stick it on my helmet. <laughs> it. Been, you know, if, if like that would have been the best. If Diggs punts one and it gets into the stands, then, then I'm donating 25k to his charity. So <laughs> he's gonna out. pick one up and punt it too. They always do it at the Patriots game. They okay. always throw and do it. Oh, it's out. only for a specific. Like a oh, specific we're getting game? more information. Yeah, like, we're getting more. That. Yeah, like big old. 12 inch. Hell yeah. yeah. Double oh, yeah. headers, probably. Really? <laughs> why, why the Patriots? <laughs> oh, no. They, yeah, we hate, they hate the Patriots. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, You're in that squat position. Yeah. No. Oh, no. Don't. Oh, no. Hey, that's a good one. Hey, that's a good one. That was good. That's a good one. Thank you. What's going on? Here we go. Boom. Oh, hell yeah. Boom. That was a good one. That was, was, hey, that was a good one. Hey, I, yeah. I think it was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. Something I admire about you, Pat, that doesn't get enough credit. It's something I admire about LeBron James is he takes care of his people. What you've done for so many people, the crew that you have, Hell yeah. that you're so tight-knit, bro. I, I, I salute you for that. I, I envy that. That's something that I wish I could do maybe one day 